My friends, there's been a lot of debate recently about graphics cards. I mean, you have the Radeon 7 going for $700. Why is our Intel CPU missing, Reese? I just noticed this after we found all of these videos. Anyways, then you put it against the 2080 Ti for $1,200. And I mean, 2080 Ti is better, but is it really worth that $500 difference? Well, if you take a look at some of the latest benchmarks, the answer is no. And the Radeon 7, as well as the Vegas GPUs that came out, be thank you, Reese, the Vega GPUs that came out before that are actually worth a heck of a lot more than you would expect because World War Z is a new zombie game that came out. Not sure how many people are playing it, especially since Days Gone is a new Sony exclusive that's coming out, which is supposed to be hotly anticipated. I saw that World War Z was like the top of the charts on Twitch, like the first day but that's probably because all the major streamers got paid. Um, and then it's like not even on the list anymore. So that's neither here nor there. Anyways, World War Z runs on the Vulcan API and it was kind of, you know, partnered with uh, AMD with trying to actually develop for the games. And it appears that based on the latest benchmarks that are coming out, the Vega 64 slightly curb stomps the 2080 Ti. $1,200 GPU versus a $1,200 GPU during the mining craze, but like 500 bucks right now. So Vega 64 can get 169 FPS versus the 2080 Ti's 160. And then if we bump ourselves all the way up to a Radeon 7, we're looking at 192 compared to the 2080 Ti's 160. And the Vega 56 isn't far off from the 2080 Ti with 149 FPS. The Vega 56 beats all of the rest of Nvidia's graphics cards besides the 2080 Ti. This is the argument that AMD fanboys always make. If you get the right APIs, if you get the right programming for AMD's GPUs, they're actually really freaking good. The issue is that in most games, it's not really developed that way. I mean, what other major game supports Vulkan? Doom. That's it. That's kind of the only one. Day, World War Z maybe could be something that's huge in the future, not necessarily sure, but it does show that AMD has been kind of working on their GPUs to be more future-proof. And if the Vulkan API has any future implementation in a lot of good games, we could see more performance like this where a $700 AMD GPU is beating out the NVIDIA $1,200 GPU. But, not gonna be the case in the majority of instances. It's just nice to see it when it happens. You know, I, for one though, I'm gonna just stick with my 2080 Ti because I'd like to waste money. And I mean, besides, they're just decorations anyways. So who cares? Hmm? Who cares? Who really cares? Not me, because that's the end of this episode. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Let me know your experience with your better AMD GPUs or your better Nvidia GPUs. Wage the war in the comments. Fisticuffs with your fingers on the keyboard. Down below, hit the like button. I'm Brett, Hot News Channel. Subscribe if you wanna.